To a bitch? What? Ah, I know, we're recording now, man. We can't be doing that nonsense. Uh, I don't even know what I'm making. What am I making a video on today? What do you think I should do? I know I'm recording right now, but, uh... The good, good ending. That's right. Everybody's favorite romance manga. What the fuck? What the fuck is up with that manga? I can't stop reading it. But the twists and turns are horrible. Basically, the main character here. What's his name again? I don't know. I don't care. Utsumi, whatever. Uh, let's call him Big. No, I'm not gonna call him Big U. Let's call him Utsumi. That's stupid. That's yeah, stupid as hell. Uh, yeah, Utsumi, and uh, he's over here trying to get with this tennis girl from chapter one, and basically, he has his girl named Yuki to help him get to the good ending he so well deserves, according to himself. He's, he, he says he wants his ending for himself. Just like in all the visual novels he's played, he's reached a good ending, but he can't quite reach that good ending yet. Despite the fact he's in high school, he, he demands that he has a good ending now. And he will do anything it takes to reach that good ending. Now here's where shit gets bad. <laughs> it's funny, right? Comes on chapter one. <laughs> In my discussion of it, I mean. Uh, but, um, yeah. Here's where shit gets bad. Turns out, the blonde chick is only interested in, interested in this dude for a few chapters. Until she finds someone who looks just like him. And then dumps him for that guy. Remember that shit? You remember that shit, right? Doesn't he? Doesn't, doesn't he look just like him? Yeah, but she was, he, she liked him ever since high school, man. Come on. Come on, son. That's rude. You should at least just go on, on a date. Since first year of high school. Come on. But it's just funny because he looks just like him. Yeah. He looks. He looks just like him. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the funny part about it. And it turns out he no longer desires a good ending with her. That he wants to get with the good girl, I mean, the girl who helped him get to this good ending that he didn't, wasn't able to obtain, Yuki. Now, then they get together. And the things, they're not too bad for a little while. For a little while, she start working out. You know, for a little while, it's all right. It's all right, man. You know what I'm saying? That, was not, that wasn't a bad pairing not really. for a few chapters. But then that shit went downhill. Because you know why? She gave him the worst ultimatum a girlfriend could ever give a man. And I've never heard of this shit, and I've heard of a lot of crazy relationship shit in my time, but I can't believe what this ultimatum was. This ultimatum was some serious shit. Rape me, or I break up with you. Can you believe that shit? Rape me, or I break up with you. Rape me, or I break up... What the fuck? Who says that? Who even asks for that? I've never heard of some shit like that. Is this some shit in Japan where girls go around saying, if you don't rape me, I don't think we're, you're not serious about me. No, what the fuck is that? Seriously, rape me or, or we're through? Rape me, you bitch. You pussy. I mean, come on. I mean, I would have done it if she asked me. I mean, quite frankly. If a girl asked you to rape her, is it really rape anyway? Well, yes, it is. She was like, yeah, I'm not going to accept it. I'm going to be kicking and screaming. But I want you to hold me down. And he doesn't do it. Because he's a Mary Sue of the manga. And quite frankly, it's pretty funny. I laughed. I laughed at that chapter because it was like, there's no way that shit could ever work out in real life. Could you imagine that, Dirty D? Not at all. You over here out with your girl saying, hey girl, let's go, let's go somewhere. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I want you to rape me before we get serious. That sounds pretty serious right there, don't it? <laughs> And he's depressed for a while, and he, he like, denies the advantages of this random blonde slutty girl that comes out of nowhere. You know that girl? Oh, yeah. Who, who the fuck is she? She's his best friend, isn't she? No! She's, she's, she's like a kind of a friend. She lives by herself, and she has sex on a whim. I don't even know who she is. I don't know. I thought he knew her for a little bit. No, he just, he, she went to the same art shit. I don't even know what the fuck this was about. Yeah. And anyway, she tries to jerk him off, and he runs. <laughs> she tries to jerk him off and he runs is this what Japan wants for their men to be like if a woman sticks her hands in your underwear you run away <laughs> seriously 
Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This is like the pussiest main character I haven't seen in my lifetime. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Like, the fat chick, or the chick who used to be fat, she tried to have, she tried to make out with him. And you know what this dude does? He pushes her, he, he pushes her off of him. It's like, mm, mm, no, stop! And she forces him, <laughs> she forces herself back on him. <laughs> He's like, no! <laughs> Is this a kind of example you want to set for your young man, Japan? Because <laughs> if so, I can't wait to see how that's going to turn out. I might take a paid vacation down in Japan if that's the case. Because there's going to be a fucking starvation of men down there. Man, I'm telling you this right now. If men act like that, the Japanese women down there ain't going to be too happy. You know what I'm saying, Dirty D? It might be time for you to make your moves, huh? I see that dirty ass smile on your face. I mean, come on. And she said, kiss me. No. <laughs> are you serious? There are manlier ways to refuse a kiss, I'm pretty sure. You don't, you don't look like the female. And she pushes him up against the wall. And he's like, oh, no, stop. <laughs> Holy shit. You know what? I might start reading some more harms and romances just so I can make fun of them like this, D uh, Dirty D. I'm going to make videos on every single romance manga I've ever read. But whatever. Whatever. I mean, we all know I'm going to read it next week. Unfortunately, it's like a sickness. I feel like a bleach hater. I come back every week even though I bitch about it. Peace out!